Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Twitch or T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number nine of the free for all win with every gun in the game. And this time I'm using the PKP Pechenegg or Pechenegg or something like that. I have no clue how to pronounce it. If anyone could, like, let me know or whatever, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. But, uh, who cares what the name is? It's still a really good gameplay, and uh, it's 30 and 3. So that's a 10 KD, and I'm playing on the map terminal just like in the last video with the L86 LSW. Unfortunately, this time it's not a Moab and it's not 30 and 0, but it's still a really good gameplay, guys. And this gameplay is actually a lot faster than the L86 Moab. And uh, that one was like 5.5 minutes. This one's like a little under 4 minutes, I think. So uh, it's a pretty nice gameplay. It's pretty quick for an LMG, you know. Terminal's a small map, though, so that's why. Uh, that's why it was pretty quick. If it was like Village or something, I wouldn't be able to get 30 kills in like under 4 minutes with an LMG. It's just really not possible if you're running Specialist. And right there, I just wasn't paying attention. And uh, so yeah, guys, 30 and 3. Uh, the end of this gameplay is pretty sweet. I think I get a few nice streaks. And uh, let me tell you guys about my class setup. So on this gun, the Iron Sights, I don't really like them. But uh, then when you run Red Dot on this gun, I don't really like that either. I really don't like this gun in general. It's probably my least favorite LMG. And, uh, and one of my least favorite guns overall in the game. But uh, somehow I managed to do really good in this game. Sometimes you just have those games where your accuracy is just on point. And uh, so the iron sights are pretty bad on this gun. It looks like a pitchfork or like something weird, you know. Um, and right there, the, I even saw the guy on my portable radar, but I just wasn't paying attention right there. But uh, yeah, guys, so I'm running grip and silencer just like on all the other LMGs. That's what I always recommend using. And uh, I would usually run red dot on this gun, but uh, not in this gameplay. I managed to do really well without it. And uh, as you guys can see, when I shoot this gun, it recoils kind of a lot. So uh, I'm even playing on a high sensitivity. I'm playing on like sensitivity 8. So I kind of have to manage the recoil and just uh, try to aim down lower. Try to hold my aim down so that it doesn't recoil as bad. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm holding down this staircase right here. In the L86 LSW gameplay, I just stayed over by the A flag, behind the counter and the security gates and all that. But in this one, I mainly stick over here by the uh, by the staircase right there. Or the escalators, I think. Yeah, those are escalators, right? Yeah. So I just hold down, hold down that whole area. And that's what I do for this whole gameplay. And this is really random, but I wanted to mention that uh, when I tried to go for the Moab with every gun in the game a while back, when the game first came out, um, I ended up getting all of them except for a couple snipers and a couple shotguns, but this gu this gun took me forever. This gun took me the longest of like any gun to get a Moab with, just because it's so bad. Um, especially on uh, on team game modes where uh, the spawns are like linear, you know, they spawn on the other side of the map, you spawn on your side. This gun is really bad, and uh, until you get specialist bonus, it's really tough to use, and it's just a really horrible gun. But uh, since this is free for all and the engagements are all really close quarters and stuff. It, uh, it works a lot better than if you're playing Ground War or something. I would never recommend using this gun, guys, if you're playing out in a real game. If you want to use an LMG to have some fun, I recommend using, like, the L86 or the MK46 or the MG36. This LMG is the worst of all of them, in my personal opinion. But uh, this free for all is pretty good, guys. Um, I think I died on a 3 kill streak at the beginning. Then I died on 7. Then I died on 16 right here. And then, uh, and then I get 4 kills here to finish off the game. And, uh, yeah, guys, overall, I thought it was a pretty good free-for-all here on Terminal. In this series, I have, like, seven or eight free-for-all wins on Terminal. In my opinion, it's the best map for free-for-all just because the spawns, I already have them all memorized. And, uh, it's just really easy to hold down. There's, like, a good head-glitching spot here. There's a good head-glitching spot over by the escalators. And, uh, if you know the map well and everything and you have good accuracy and you use your portable radar to your advantage, it's really easy to win on free-for-all. And, uh, so, yeah, guys... Plan on seeing more free for all wins in the near future on Terminal. I have like seven or eight of them, I think. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. 30 and 3 free for all win with the PKP Pechenegg on Terminal. And I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.